Hey everybody, hope you're well. Um, it's been fucking ages since I've done a video, so I thought I might as well do one uh, for good reason. Um, I submitted a bunch of books to CGC for grading, uh, for signature event. So I'll show you that. I'll show you the books. <sighs> but before I open it, I'll just give you some context. Um, so the books I sent in, they were all already graded uh, by Halo and CBCS. And I thought, well, it will be interesting to see um, what they come back with, right? Because uh, everybody's got different opinions around quality of grading or accuracy of grading of different companies. Um, for me, uh, give or take 0.5 of a grade, I'm not too fussed because usually, especially the older books, if I'm sending in low to mid grades, it doesn't really make that much of a difference. I appreciate that if I'm sending in a... 10 year old book that's a 9.8 or a 30 year old book that's a 9.8 i'm gonna fucking hope it comes back a 9.8 but most of the time um you know the grading's in the ballpark and this will be a good experiment to see how close they get to each other um while at the same time just showing off some goodies so hope you enjoy this so this was uh chris claremont signature event um what i do um i usually combine my shipping with some of the other Growlance's members if um, they're interested. Uh, and I do that because obviously shipping to America and shipping from America is shit house. Um, CGC charges standard fees for certain volumes of books to come back. Uh, go, could get up to 180 US for, for books. Um, so it's always good to share the load. Don't do it to make money out of it. Um, by the way, if you don't know, I did become a CGC registered dealer recently, so I'll probably do more and more CGC submissions for some of the members. Um, but for the time being, I'll just scale to that organically anyway. Uh, before further ado, I haven't opened it, so it's coming up for the first time. Now there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven books in here. Um, some of them are for Dan Rowlands. He knows he's great, so it's not a fucking spoiler alert. Um, so I'll go with his first. Um, his grades came back as is, purely because he was already uh, graded with CGC. So what he did is he was topping up his signatures that he received from them, right? So, so yellow labels, both of them. Um, I'll take them out of the sleeve so there's less glare. Now the cool thing with these is... This is X Men 221. It was already signed by Mark Silvestri in 2019. Um, submitted it. Now it came back with a Chris Clement signature right right above it. Still a nine. Uh, beautiful book though. We did ask for a press as well, just in case. <laughs> you always do, right? Fucking aim for the skies. Try and get it pressed. Get another point two out of it. But it stayed a nine, so it must have been. Uh, Priest priorly prior to that. His second book, uh, First Appearance of Gambit, originally signed by Stanley 2010. So he topped it up with a Chris Clement signature. Uh, perfect placement if you ask me. So I'll show you that. I do prefer the signing on the logo, especially with the busier cover, so it stands out a little bit further, uh, a little bit more. There's a Stanley second silver at the bottom. It's disguised a little bit, but you can see it. Um, but yeah, stayed nines. And the awesome part is it got these fucking amazing X-Men labels that CGC started printing. I'm not going to say they stole the idea from Halo. We did it first, but I'm just joking. They're awesome. All right, so I've got five left. I'll start with... Oh, let's go top down. Fuck it. X Men 94. So, this was originally Halo graded 3.5. Sent it in. I cracked it myself because I don't I don't think CGC has graded, oh, cracked Halos before, so I just cracked it myself. But I'd keep the labels. Came back 3.5, so on par. Nothing's changed. Um, cool signature, man. Look at that. That signature label. Look. Fucking spectacular. So that's the first of mine. It's still got a bit of a wobble. I know they pressed it, but it's almost like the book doesn't fit perfectly into the bevel because it had a little bit of spine roll. Looks good though. Looks very good. Now the next one's heartbreaking. 
Um, it's not heartbreaking because the grades changed significantly. It's heartbreaking because I bought it as a raw 2018 and the seller told me it's uh, very fine. Now the cover looked very fine, uh, but they didn't have a photo of the back cover. So I'll show you the back cover and you'll probably get an idea of what the book is based on the back cover. But there's, it's like sticker tear there. So despite that, this spine's really good. I thought it was maybe a, oh, there's a spine. I thought it was maybe a, a five, 5.5, 5, leaning towards a six. Unfortunately, that didn't happen because of that. Uh, came back as a three. Now Halo originally graded this 3.5. So it's a 0.5 difference. Um, the notes does state that there's a small tear on the cover, which is there in the corner. Um, and you can see the spine's crushed a little bit over the years. But again, 3.5 Halo to 3 CGC. Not bad, not bad, not bad. Uh, next one went the other way around. So this was 7.5 Halo. Um, whew, what a label. Um, again, first appearance of Sabretooth. I had this pressed locally uh, a few years ago. Um, the press had guessed 7.5 to 8, so that was good on them. Came back at 8. Uh, first appearance of Sabretooth. Graded 8. Bump from 7.5 that Halo had on it. So pretty happy with that. So swings and roundouts, right? 1.5 down, 1.5 up. Um, next one, another of my books, X-Men 101. Good choice on that label. Came back at eight. It was Halo 8.5. So dropped 0.5, but I'm pretty happy with the signature placement with the label with the book with the grade the books are all 1976 it's as old as me so coming back at eight i'm pretty happy with that uh and now the last one was actually cbcs graded now it's probably the one i was i know those were big key books um fuck my dogs <laughs> um but I was most paranoid about this one because I sent it in CBSC S grade at 9.8. And you know what? I don't send a lot of books in, in their slabs so that CGC cr can crack it for me. But I did with this one and did it purely so that they can at, at least see it was a 9.8 or represent a 9.8. And I was worried that it'll come back anything other than 9.8. And it came back a 9.8. So got a nice silver signature on the pile of bodies. New stand. Glare is a bit shitty. 9.8 Wolverine. That'll go great because I've got the mini series 9.8 signed by Frank Miller, CGC. So that'll look good side by side. Anyway, that is it. That's a small, small um, batch of books, really. But really happy with the result. A few point fives up, a few point fives down. Kept the one 9.8 that I was really paranoid about. The other low to mid grades, not too, too fussed about going up 0.5s. But uh, thanks for watching and uh, have a great day. I'll keep I'll keep doing videos um, and maybe maybe get some momentum behind it. Have a great day. Um, goodbye.